Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Dr. Faraz Ahmad and this is very important video because in this video I am going to discuss about the semen station of dizziness. Like if some patient, if some semen is presenting to the emergency department and the main complaint of your patient of your semen is dizziness, so how you have to proceed with this type of the station? Please keep in mind that in the station where patient is presenting with dizziness, patient will be stable. So here you have to take almost a thorough history to get a better understanding and after taking the history of one and a half minute uh, maximum up to two minutes then you will start the ABCDE approach. So when, once you will complete the ABCDE approach then the examiner can ask you doctor what are you going to do now. So please keep in mind in this type of station what you are going to do you are going to take history of one and a half minute and then you have to do A B C D E approach in three to four minutes and after six minutes bell in most of the cases where patient where semen is presenting with dizziness examiner will ask you some question after six minutes but it, this case can present where examiner will not ask you any you know question after the six minutes you have to complete a b c d e approach and you have to complete the management so let's move to the screen and let's discuss menstruation so when you will enter the room after reading the stereo first of all you have to introduce yourself and you have to verbalize your gmc number with the examiner like you can say hello my name is dr ahmad my gmc number is 780 what is your gmc number you will replies and after doing this you have to make sure that you are a safe doctor how you will make sure you will loudly say examiner assume i have taken all the universal precautions that's mean you are a safe doctor this is very simple and after doing this you will move toward your patient and your patient is same man you will introduce yourself and after the introduction of yourself you will acknowledge your patient condition okay like if your patient is in the pain you will say i can see that you are uncomfortable if your patient is breathless you will say i can see that you are breathless okay so in this way you will introduce and acknowledge you will say that hello it's ahmed one of the doctor at this department could you please confirm your full name and age for me patient can say adam 45 doctor or patient can take any other name so after doing this you will move toward the history and you can ask uh, please tell me what happened to you okay patient will say dizziness doctor okay so please make sure that you have to clarify this that what do you mean by dizziness different patient explain the dizziness in different way so after asking this when patient will say doctor i am having dizziness for a couple of days when you will then you will ask what do you mean patient can say i feel that i am about to fall but i don't fall okay so after this you have to you know uh, take the history of the dizziness we, you can ask when did it start how did it start what were you doing at that time when this started first time okay then you will ask how often do you have these type of dizzy attacks and along with this do you have any heart racing do you feel any lightheadedness do you have do you feel any shortness of breath any chest or any leg pain so you have to ask this type of the question because this in in the same station dizziness presentation of the patient will be a case of atrial fibrillation so you have to rule out the other things which can occur because of the afib like you have to ask about the uh, questions of acute limb ischemia you have to ask about the questions of pulmonary embolism so another important thing which is important past medical condition and medication is very very important mma is very very important so in the medical condition you will ask about the diabetes you can ask about the thyroid disease you can ask about the any other heart disease okay and then you will uh, you have to ask about the diet and coffee in most of the cases of the same man where patient will present with a dizziness then you will ask about the diet patient will give you the history that doctor i consume a lot of coffee like five ten uh, uh, cups a day and you have to ask about the smoker cuff and smoking history as well so after taking the history you have to verbalize adam i am going to uh, assess you it will include look feel tab and listen to different parts of your body please be assured a member of medical team is with me and he is acting as a chaperone and we are maintaining your privacy again after doing this 
it is uh, obvious that in the normal practice you have to attach your patient with the monitor but in the exam it will be attached to the monitor and you have to acknowledge this i can see like my patient is attached to monitor so i am directly starting a to e approach so in the airway as patient is having dizziness there is no problem with you with the breathing of the patient so you will say as my patient is talking to me i assume that patient airway is patent and then you will move toward the b part so in the b part what you will do i you will say i am going to unbutton your shirt to see your chest so here auscultation of chest is very very important please be assured in this case auscultation is very very important and when you will auscultate most of the cases you will uh, you know uh, listen to a murmur of heart so auscultation is important so after this you will immediately order the chest x-ray ecg and abg and then you will look the monitor carefully for the any irregularly irregular heart beats all right so after this we will move toward the circulation and you will say here adam i am going to pinch your finger okay i'm going to look at the pulse and the blood pressure and please be assured here a blood pressure will be the normal and the pulse will be irregularly irregular so heart murmur with irregularly irregular pulse and patient presenting with dizziness this is a typical case of the atrial fibrillation so here what you will do you will insert one large bore IV cannula and you will take the blood for the lab investigations okay so here because patient is having murmur in the uh, murmur in the heart patient is having irregularly irregular pulse and patient is having dizziness so you will uh, mention these heart attack markers and the clotting profile d dimers on the same time okay so after doing this because patient is having irregularly irregular pulse and it may be above 100 okay patient could be irregularly irregular and it may be high so first of all we have to give uh, uh, give the beta blocker like metoprolol 25 mg orally or if the metoprolol is not available we can give the rapamil 5 mg iv as well all right but if patient is giving history of the dizziness for more than 48 hours please give low molecular weight heparin as well 5000 units in the tummy of the patient subcutaneous if atrial fibrillation is uh, if patient is having dizziness for more than 48 hours and if patient is in the pain we have we can give the morphine or some paracetamol according to the painkiller as well so after this what we will do we will check the blood sugar and temperature of our patient and then we will check the mobility of the legs so exposure is again very very important because patient is having dizziness because of the atrial fibrillation patient could have some features of the detailed fibrillation like acute limb ischemia in the leg so we have to so we have to look and feel the feature of the atrial fibrillation uh, that could be uh, that could lead to the acute limb ischemia that we uh, like we will look for what we will look for color change redness ulcer rare shear distribution trauma and we will feel for the temperature sensation pulses and the edema i have uh, you know explained all these in the previous video so after this we will move toward the plan of the management now here patient will be almost stable and then we will explain the condition and the management which we have done we will explain like adam as we have done your ecg and we have felt your pulse so uh, it is clear from your ecg and your pulse that your heart is beating you know irregularly uh, so we are suspecting a condition that is called the atrial fibrillation and dizziness could be the one of the feature of the atrial fibrillation so we have started this 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 medication which what you have done we, you will explain to the patient and uh, we will admit you over here and uh, we are pretty sure that you will get stabilized and once you will be okay we will send you to the specialist doctor and please make sure that uh, uh, you will explain on the basis of these features like irregularly regular pulse heart murmur ecg narrow complex with the absent p wave you will explain these situation these features to the patient okay then you will admit and you will involve the senior okay uh, like the specialist and you will involve the heart specialist as well for what for the further investigation like echocardiography and the halter monitoring 
holter ecg monitoring so then you will advise for the trigger of the disease and you will talk to your patient regarding the safety netting so this is the way this is the approach where you can deal with the dizziness station please be assured that this uh, that uh, dizziness could be due to atrial fibrillation and atrial fibrillation can uh, present with the dizziness it can present with the pulmonary embolism we will discuss this later on and it can present with acute limb ischemia so these three cases uh, could be the presentation of the atrial fibrillation and you have to do the station like this in, uh, in like this approach and if you will follow the approach i'm pretty sure that you will get good marks in your same menstruation in your plab 2 exam thank you very much